Today, I'm going to show you an alternative build that you can use to fame farm open world mobs. Here's how it works, all right? This is a bolt caster build. We're going to be using bolt casters with the second Q ability, second W ability, and the second passive, all right? For the helmet, we're using a stalker hood with mortal agony and the damage passive. We're using the druid robe with the damage passive and obsessive mind. And the boots, we're using any any leather shoe. It doesn't have to be Hellion shoes. Any leather shoes with refreshing sprint. That's it. Use a beef stew and use the highest Thetford KP you've got. Now, one quick tip real quick, and I'm going to show you why. If you can, get your bolt casters to at least item power 1855. All right. So right now, my destiny board shows that I am completely maxed out in all crossbows at level 100. So not really maxed out, I can still, you know, bring this to 120, right? However, these crossbows are only of good quality, so what you want to do is get this item power number to 1855. I'm going to show you why in just a bit. So, this is not as fast as the spiked gauntlets, but it has its spe specialty uses, okay? And I'm going to explain what that is. And that is fame farming during the busy parts of the day. So it is 12 p.m. UTC. Very busy part of the day. I'm going to go ahead and eat my anniversary cake so I can get extra fame and my beef stew, and let's get started. So as you ride around, you're going to be able to quickly dismount, shoot your queue, and then remount. And that's going to be how you fame farm the little small mobs here, because you can just one-shot them and then mount up between uh, the animals attacking you, of course. Don't need to kill the animals. They're not really worth the fame anyway. Unless you want to, you're free to kill whatever you want. Now, the reason that I use this build is because during the fame farm event, um, also for bigger mobs, hit them with the W and hit them with the Q, the female ones die in one W and one Q, okay? The male ones, as long as you're, you're at 1855 item power, will also die in that same combo. But if you're at 1854, they will survive with one HP. And I'm going to show you that here in a bit once we run into some camp mobs, okay? But uh, right now, the event is going on where... Uh, the Living Legacy, these statues have come to life and they drop anniversary cakes. This build d kills them faster than anything else in the entire game. So this build right now is optimal for me to use when open world mob farming in a tier 5 yellow zone. Alright, same thing with Wizard, hit him with W, Q. Now here's the cool thing too. You see this little number at the top left? You see it where it says 2? And it says consecutive spells used. If that number is a 3 then I can shoot two of my Q spells back to back without recharge. So let me show you what that looks like, okay? I have three Q spells rolled up, and then let's say I'm riding near a wizard. I can dismount, double fire my Q, and then he's immediately dead. I'm already on the move again. So the glorious thing about this build, the great thing about this build, is that you can do literal drive-bys on the mobs. So let me show you real quick, okay? We're going to hit W and then Q on this guy. Look at his HP. One HP remaining. That is why you want 1855 item power. And uh, yes, I could do that, but I just want to make the video just to show you guys. Once you're at 1855 item power with this build, then the fame farming for mobs is super, super duper quick, okay? And we're going to run by some statue mobs here in a little bit, and you're going to see just how fast that we can kill them with this build, okay? Because that's the, that's the special sauce. That is the secret ingredient, okay? Is... While we run around and do our fame farm, those statue mobs give, right now with my 8-3 satchel and my, my food buff, uh, the anniversary cake, it's like 66,000 fame. Uh, and all of that converts to fame credits at a 1.64 rate. Insanely high. So that's almost 100,000 fame. Completely safe, and uh, I lose nothing, except, well, the silver, of course, for converting to combat fame credits and using the satchel. But it is a busy uh, part of the day. It's a busy time of day, so there's lots of people out doing all sorts of different farming activities. See, look how long this little swordsman took to kill that mob. He is not being efficient with his fame farming. Not one bit, but look how fast I killed it. In literally, like, <laughs> like milliseconds, okay? It's like speed run time. And me and this guy, if we're running side by side, guess what? That's dead. All right, so he's going to... Oh, he's a, he's a gauntlet user, okay? The gauntlet users are pretty quick when fame farming mobs. But look at that. That's a double kill immediately. We didn't have to stop. I mean, technically, you do have to dismount and shoot your spell, but it's so fast that it, it doesn't matter. You are... You're like, a, you're like a Wild West, you know, gunslinger, okay? You ride up on your pale horse, 
and uh, you see the bad guys, you lay down the law, and you move on. It is that fast and efficient. Okay, we're going to run into some statue mobs here in a bit, and you're going to see the speed of this build. It's going to blow your mind. It's going to be absolutely crazy. Now, I could have, uh, you know, actually aimed that spell there. I could have aimed it and hit both of them at once, but I, I, I didn't. Let's run away from the animals there, de-aggro them, kill this guy. We had a, a, f a female mob respawn here, and just two-shot her. There we go, she's down. We've already done our daily. Again, just pop off your mount, pop back on, so on and so forth. It's that easy. Now, also, our, our cape does a chain lightning spell, which is great uh, for multiple mobs. If you want to AO, like if there's no other players around... You don't have to do what I'm doing. You can just AO, you can grab or aggro the entire group of mobs, bun bundle them together, and then blow them up all at once. That's why you, we use the Thetford Cape. You don't really have to use the Thetford Cape. It's just, it's ideal. Okay, here's a statue mob. Let me show you the power of how much HP I'm going to take away from it here. Okay, we're going to do a Druidic Robe, and we're going to shoot the ground for a bit. We're going to shoot him, just the ground for a bit, just him. Okay, we're going to do this, and now we have some charges. All right, now we're going to hit him with the big juice. Look how much, look at his health. It's just going to be deleted. It's gone. His health is just, it's just gone. And, you know, if I open with that, if I don't even use my my druidic robe, okay? If I just open <laughs> uh, with uh, my W into E spell, then he will be, he'll have like a thousand HP left, okay? You don't have to use your armors. You don't have to use your helmets. They're just there if you get like a double statue spawn. It's it, it's such a good build. It's so fast and efficient. Look, another statue, and here we go. We're gonna open with it, okay? This is how much damage I do with my opener. Look at that. We took away what three bar. We took sixty percent of his HP in our opener. And again, this is our damage. This is our clear speed. It's so fast, okay? The only other way you're gonna clear these fast is with a one-handed dagger build. Those are actually really good at killing these two, uh, but they're they're not really good at killing everything else. Like I can drive by and, and kill these mobs immediately, no cooldown. Look at that. We we have killed so many mobs just doing our little drive-bys. We're like we're an absolute OG gangster. And if I had that one more item power, guess what? He wouldn't have that one HP remaining. He would be dead. Remember, I'm at 1854 item power with a beef stew. So I could use a, an 8.1 beef stew. If I wanted, or I can just upgrade my bolt casters once. And that lets you basically one to two shot everything in the camp, okay? I can also just auto attack these guys once and hit them with a second Q spell. I don't have to W into Q, okay? I can just uh, Q, Q, you know? There's <laughs> so many ways to take these out. And there we go. See, it's, look at this. It, it's insane how fast it is. And uh, this mount requires no gallop. And look at that. That was an auto attack and a Q spell on the wizard. The wizard mob dies and uh, also, like I said, two hits. So there we go. Down he goes. That's an auto attack into W into Q. And uh, yes, we are we're, we're farming insane amounts of fame right now. We're farming uh, faction rep. We're f look at our faction rep we've earned today. We've earned 905 uh, at the start of this video. Since the start of this video, uh, a little bit. Uh, it's around 100 a minute or so. Not quite exactly, but it's still really good. And there we go. We got a silver chest from our faction warfare. I'm going to go ahead and open it right now. Let's see what we got. We got 200,000 fame. That's 300,000 fame. 20,000 silver. 8,000. Another 23,000. Not bad. It's not the best chest, but it'll do. And it was free. It was, well, it wasn't free. You have to have premium to unlock those chests, but... Uh, and you have to play the game, so... <laughs> uh, but other than that, you know, it's something you just get for playing the game. You just receive it, all right? It's like a little, like like a little, uh, you know, carrot on a stick. It's like a... or whatever. I, I don't know. I don't know words sometimes, guys. Auto attack, WQ, boom. Instant 7k fame. Combat fame credits converted, of course. Shoot that guy, that's another 2k. Ooh, he dropped an item. Now, we can, you know... Look, there we go, it's 13k mace, not bad. Not bad at all. That'll sell pretty quick for some reason. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why, what business people have using flat five maces unless they're like a budget tank, which doesn't really make sense to me. Uh, it's whatever. But yeah, we're just going to ride around. And like I said, this is a busy part of the day. There are a lot of people out here doing this. So your fame will be exponentially greater if you run into more statues than I do. 
if you uh, have access to more mobs than I do. And you see how, like, these other guys, they're, they're trying to do the fame farm too, but I'm just blowing everything away in a single hit. No one has a chance to get anything, okay? It's, it's that wild. It's that wild, wacky, and crazy. And it's good. You know, the fame farm, it's good. It's, um, a lot of people that watch my channel use the Boltcaster build because it's the fastest, low-spec, dungeon-clearing build in the game. It is. It, like, if you use this exact build that I went over earlier at the start of the video for dungeons, it's faster than anything else you can use currently in the game if you have low spec. If you have high spec, you can save about 15 seconds per dungeon by using a light, light crossbow instead. But it's not it's not that much faster. Like, <laughs> um, Now, as far as farming like this, using light crossbow, your Q spell won't deal as much damage even, even with 8-3 Masterpiece Crypt Candle. Uh, and your E spell will not be able to melt those statues as fast as the bolt casters will. That's why we're using the bolt casters, because we're out here statue hunting. We're killing statues. Okay, like this guy, look how long it took him to kill these two mobs. He's still fighting them. Uh, I've already moved on. Like, I, I one-tap everything that's weak. I two-tap everything else except for the berserkers. But, like, I already told you how to fix that that issue, okay? That issue is, is a non-issue. Okay, and, and again, it's just one, it's one auto attack, okay? And look, the, he tried to pull those mobs. He's trying to AoE these mobs. They're mine. I've already dealt half their, their HP pool. I can literally ignore them and kill these other... He, look, he's looking at me now. He's like, hi. Hey, you made it in the video, uh, Donkey donkey Rider with the 4.1. Not using a build uh, that I've ever made, so I don't even know if he watches my channel. Maybe he just thinks I'm a random bloke stealing his mobs. Statue time. Let's go. Let's go. Statue time. We hit a, We, we kind of didn't... We mistimed our W, but that's okay. Because we have our armor here. He's below half HP. And look at that. We, we just melt this dude. He is donezo. He is absolutely obliterated. Yoink, two more cakes for me. We got a bow guy over here. A bow guy in plate. Don't do this. Stop doing this. This plate does nothing for you. you you're getting nothing for wearing that plate in this situation. Okay? Yeah, that, that loot becomes available in 30 seconds because it is animals. That could be a baby. That could be a little baby animal on the ground. And, you know, I'm going to let Mr. Donkey Guy here get it. If he knows, it, does he, is he aware that this is an item he can grab? I'm muted. Guys, I am muted. If you ever see me in game, and I, a lot of you do, I cannot reply to you. I can't say hi. I can, I can wave at you in emotes. Maybe. All right. Well, we're going to grab this. It's like three seconds, two seconds, one second. What do we got? Is, is it a baby? It is. It's 800 silver. That's not worth stopping for. Well, we got trolled. Okay, well, even mobs like this. Now, they like to open with a stun, so you got to sidestep that stun and then hit them with the E. And that's 16k free fame, okay? Like, this guy doesn't have a cape. This guy just doesn't have a cape. You know, maybe we should just give him... Just... Let's see if I can give him a cape here. Okay, slash trade doesn't work, huh? I have to do it like that. There you go. Here. Now, I don't want to put the cape on. There, give him the cape. Here you go. Put the cape on. I subscribe to your channel. There you go. You got a little cape, a little tier three cape for you. I don't need any money. Just take it. Just take the cape. Can can he not take the cape? All right, Elfina. No, it's fine. Okay, well, whatever, man. I tried. I tried to give you the cape. Now it's in the dirt. I threw it. I just threw it away. Threw it out of my car window. Out of my out of my mount window. <laughs> Bro, now, I, if you're subscribed, then that means you made it in the video and you're watching me talk to you right now. So the cape, well, you know, the cape gives you a passive mana regeneration, all right? That, that's why I was trying to give it to you. I mean, yeah, it's not worth that much. It's whatever, man. It's, it's whatever, okay, guys? But anyway, we went over the build, and I'm showcasing the fame farm right now, how it works. You're right around... And you just delete everything that you see super fast. No one else can compete with you, except maybe Spite Gauntlet users. Spite Gauntlet users can still kill just as quick as you, but they can't kill those damn statues. And sometimes the big boss daddy mommy statues spawn, okay? And when those spawn, you will be able to deal at least 50% of their health before everyone else mogs them down, all right? Uh, so, again, I highly recommend the Boltcaster build for fame farming open world mobs daring busy parts of the day. Now, if you are fame farming open world mobs and it's a dead part of the day, like it's a school night, it's a work night, it's like two in the morning, no one's on, then you don't need this build as as much. It's it's not as useful 
because the spiked gauntlets, you can grab like 10 dudes all at once, bundle them up in a nice little ball, and then punch them all dead in one hit. That's, that's why the spiked gauntlets are so dang good. But when it's busy like this and there is an enemy faction player with a crappy mount and crappy uh, gear, so I'm going to see if I can just kill them straight up. Now, when fa enemy faction players are around, you can't dismount and shoot mobs immediately, which sucks. Now, I'm also not in a mount that I can chase him with. He's going to be able to run away from me. Like, he's gone. Like, I won't be able to just run up and start shooting him. But with him off the screen, I can now farm all these mobs that we ran by. So it's not so bad. And I'm shooting my Q so I don't hit the or disturb the stag, okay? You know, nature is restless. You don't want to disturb nature too bad. We're going to auto-attack the two wizards and hit both of them with the Q. And I missed the second one, but... Oh, that's okay. Uh, I guess the chain lightning missed the second one too. But there we go. Got that fame farm down. Now, if I'm farming here, and I'm spending a lot of time farming here, then when a lot of greens start showing up, I'll, I'll switch to a gank set. And then I'll, I'll just ride back out here and clear them all out. Because it's it's free faction points, it's fun, it's entertaining. Now, you want to make sure that you're faction flagged, okay? Because by being faction flagged, you're earning faction points. You're getting 15% additional fame, silver, all that fun stuff. And yes, I'm aware... I haven't been picking up silver. I don't need it. Remember, I have like 20 alt characters. I have tons of crafters. Okay. Now, these glowing mobs, you just push E and they die. Right? Is that an item? That uh, Get out of here, bag. That other guy didn't have a bag either. You know what? I could have given him the bag. He needs to have a bag if he wants to stock up on some good stuff. But it's whatever, you know. It's, it's whatever he wants to do with his character. He can play however he wants. If he doesn't want to be efficient, that's totally fine. All right, more wizards. Yes. See how see how fast these are dying. And uh, here we go. We can actually AOE these dudes. Here, let's get the wizard too. Go ahead and shock him. Blow that one up, and then just E the wizard down. We save our E spell for the tough mobs. Okay. Is that an item? It is not. I hate that they glow yellow, and the items also glow yellow. It's kind of Hard to tell if things got dropped. There is a lot of enchanted mobs there, and they are purple. That is rare. Very rare indeed. Yep, just blasting down all the mobs. Look at that. Mm, so smooth. Now, you see the outpost is under attack. I'm I'm, I'm a, I'm a one-shot build, okay? So, spoiler alert, I can actually... If there's just a few dudes attacking that outpost, I can run up and maybe machine gun one down. Now, this little circle is going to knock me back. So, I'm not going to be able to finish my E-spell. And that sucks. That's why I tell you, when you aggro the glowing guys, let them cast their little spell first, step out of the way, and then hit them with E. Alright? So, I'm gonna go investigate. Let's, uh, let's investigate. Now, uh, it is a very costly repair bill if I get downed, so I wanna make sure that I'm not running into, like, a massive organized group. And it's if it's just a few dudes with, like, a healer and some DPS and a tank... I could at least E1 down and maybe run away. Okay, maybe. Let's see. Dodge? I don't have a I don't have a regular run. So I'm gonna have to use Oh, that's a blob. That <laughs> I, I'm not even gonna bother. That's too many people. That is too many. I I I'm meant for killing single targets hyper efficiently. Okay? That's what this build is. It is not fighting diving a blob, okay? I start Eing, they just knock me back and interrupt me or turn invisible or turn immune or get healed or get shielded and it's over. And I'm in cloth. I'm a little squishy boy. I'm not going to bother with them. And now, I know what you're thinking, too. If you're new, that is. You may be thinking, well, I don't want a faction flag. Look, I can E this target. I might be able to steal this kill from him. Because um, I'm doing the majority of the damage to him. And he's already backing off. Like, I, did, did I get that? I got that. I stole that from him. That's mine. That's why we use this build. So we can, we can just steal it. <laughs> See? And what was he using? He's, he's using that stupid Demon Fang, ain't he? He's, yeah, he's using 4-3 Demon Fang. Awful, awful weapon. Don't ever... That weapon sucks. I know there was people in the comments on my dagger video where I tested the damage. They were saying it's good. It's not. And I'm going to tell you why it's not good. Yeah, it does a, a good amount of damage. But it doesn't do more damage than other weapons already in the game. So why would you why would you settle for less? Why would you settle for a weaker weapon? It doesn't do anything special other than it does damage in a frontal cleave three times. 
so do a bunch of other weapons, so a bunch of other weapons do frontal cleaves. I mean, and, and as far as frontal cleave daggers go, that one dagger that cleaves everything in front of you and leaps you backwards deals more damage. There's no reason not to use it over the damn demon fang. And the demon fang hurts you, and it doesn't move you backwards. Why would you use it? There's so many other weapons you could be using instead. It's And that guy, you know, he's in 4-3. Maybe he's faming it up. Maybe... I can't look at people's destiny boards. I wish that was a thing. SBI, I don't think they watch my videos, but if they did, I would request, let me right-click someone and inspect their destiny board. I want to see how deep into weapon specializations they are. Uh, I know right now, if you inspect someone, you can see the little golden stars or the diamond stars, depending on their spec, but you, you don't know if they have the whole damn tree that way. It could just be the one weapon, okay? Like, if you have golden stars, that means that, it, like, these golden stars right here, that means you have 100 spec, okay? And if you see an opponent that also has that, you know they have high spec, but if they also have the golden stars on the entire weapons tree, that's even more spec that they can stack against you, which you can't see. You have no idea. You have no real clue. There we go. Loot the boots. We got the boots. We got them. All right. And, uh, yeah, this little fame farm adventure, pretty cool. I'm up to eight. I'm almost 81 million combat fame credits here. And uh, I think I started the video at 14 million. No, no, 16 million silver. I'm at 14 million, I think. I could be wrong on that. I could be wrong. Rewind the video. Look for a part of the video where my inventory is open. And we can see how much silver I had. I have no clue. I just know yesterday I had 18.8 .8 million. And I'm already down to 14 million. This, uh... You know, fame farming, it's getting kind of pricey, okay? And my crafters didn't do so good this month, okay? Uh, ooh, there's a glowy one. We're gonna kill the little baby mom next to them, and then I don't even need to eat them because I'm so strong. Uh, but there we go, it's another 16k. Go ahead and shoot this one. Another 7k. It is, uh, it's, it's just a good day for fame farming, you know? Look at that, down he goes. I swear I mounted up. I don't I don't know what happened there. I mounted up and then it said I wasn't mounted. Alright. Whenever the Bridgewatch blob comes, I think I'll join them in battle. Maybe. Statue, I can't steal that because his HP is already below half. So there there is no stealing. However, if this guy always inspect people fighting these, because if they're weak, if they have crappy gear and their HP is low, there's a chance that they could be downed. And when they get down, the enemy will regenerate their health because they're resetting. But in this case, he's a light crossbow user. He's got a 7-3 torch. He's fine. He's he's not going to lose that fight, okay? He knows what he's doing. And so that's not something we could easily steal. And like I said, we rolled up a little too late anyway. 2,500 uh, faction points in 22 minutes. Not the best. Uh, if you want to farm faction points the most efficiently, you really do need to go to the red zones. I know a lot of people are like, oh, you never tell people to go to the red or black zone. But in this regard, farming, look at that. I'm stealing that. Thank you. He actually got that um, somehow. Don't know how. Don't know how he, he got credit for that. They were above 50% HP. Uh, maybe it, it counted as um, you know them being tagged or he was in combat with them long enough for them to be like his. I'm not sure the ruling on that one. Or maybe it's because they died when they were aggroed to him. Uh, it's a little iffy sometimes, but regardless. Wizard in the corner? Wizard's now dead in the corner. Dead before... Well, he died before his shot could even really go off. But when it did go off, it hits the mount and not me. And I'm already on route to the next target. And you can see here we've completely avoided this, um, this Limhurst blob. So again, faction flagging, we are in no th no threat at all to being downed because we can just run away. We can just run away from the blob. They can't really dismount me, okay? I mean, like, well, with my with my mount they can't, but um, like maybe if I was on a really slow ass like uh, ox or something, they might be able to use um, like a, f a freeze a, a permafrost build combined with a terror bird, and then maybe dismount me, maybe. It's doubtful, though. It's really doubtful. But, uh, 
Yeah, we're still farming here, still fame farming it up. We're at 81 million fame credits. We need 85 billion to be able to spin 17 times 5-ish. Look at that nice little group of people. That's 6k, that's 6k with one, I push one button, 6k. Push one button, 4k. Mmm. Mm -mm -mm. Very good, very nice. I want to make sure that you guys see the full splendor of this build. I would like to have killed more statues, but it looks like all the spots where the statues normally spawn, um, they're not spawning right now. And I, I've noticed that. Like, every time you find a statue spawn for that day, because they do change every day, uh, you got to mark them down. And then when you come back there seven minutes later, seven to 23 minutes is the timer. Uh, they'll be back. They'll be right back, ready for you to farm them once again. And I just want to bundle these two up real quick so I can kill them in one hit. You know, just make it a little bit easier. You know, just E her. She doesn't have a knockback spell that she opens with. That's why I didn't wait. I hate that they glow. Just, if someone glows, make sure you're, make sure that, um, you know, you don't associate, associate with the glowing ones. There was one guy that got my reference in the last video where I talked about glowing ones, so thank you for that. I'm sorry I don't remember your name, because I, I, I have difficulty with names. Okay, we're, we're running into the blob now. We need to get the hell away from that, okay? And the blob is moving southeast, so I'm just gonna, you know, go southwest and then northwest. So that I am flowing against the blob, but in a different lane, so to speak. Alright, wizard, it's time for you to get double-shotted. There he goes. He gave his life for... I don't know what he gave his life for. Okay, I just attracted that whole mob with the cape, but look at that, it worked out. That's why we use the, 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 the Thetford cape. It makes farming so easy. Just, mmm, just pulled them all at once. Look at that, pulled that one too. And, ooh, here, is he AFK? I'm checking this guy for AFK. He is not. He is also a tank. Um, so I, I wouldn't want to shoot that guy. The reason being is that he can interrupt my E spell. And so even with his tankiness, I wouldn't be able to kill him in one hit. And by the time that I start engaging with him, he is going to be able to radio his bros in Discord for backup. And that is why I chose not to even try to fight that guy, okay? I clearly have the stronger, better gear, and I could kill him in a, in a you know, a 1v1 if we're trapped in a small box. But it would be, it would just be a, a way, it would take a while, okay? It, it wouldn't be easy, okay? I only like easy fights. I don't, why do gamers like difficulty? Why do they like fair fights? I, I don't, I've never liked fair fights. When, when I'm wanting to fight someone, I want to be bigger and stronger and healthier than them. Like, it makes no sense. Like, yeah, you have this, like, code of honor. You want to fight an even opponent to test your true abilities. I don't give a shit. I just want to beat him up. <laughs> uh, oh, he's he's unflagging. And he's he's a weak boy. Yes. Yep. Oh, he, he's on a little tier 8 ox. I can't really do anything about that, but I can try. Oh, I can try. I can, I can shoot a couple bullets into him, but that tier 8 ox... That would have been fun to kill. Hojagris. Hojagris, huh? <laughs> uh, we had a buffed up uh, little, little, you know, shoot out there, but his ox is way too tanky, man. Even in my dismount build, in my PvP builds, I can't, I can't break an ox. Yo, can, did I get this? I don't know if I got that. I did get that. That's cool. I got that big ass mob. Is he about to go down? He is so close to going down. One, two, one more hit, two more hit. Oh, come on. Oh, no. That would have been... Oh, he did. He went down. Look at his repair bill. 7-1 and a 6-2. Ooh, he's using the cheap carrot suit. It's what you get, man, for being cheap. Don't be cheap with the food. Use the good food. You know, I, even in real life, use the good food. Make sure that you're eating hearty, healthy, good stuff, okay? Don't be like me and just eating like like some corn like that was one of my meals the other day is i just ate corn for the day like i went all day and i was like man i'm really hungry what, what, what do i got and there was like uh in the local pantry like there's a church that gives out food sometimes and um they were like well we can give you this this bent can of like outdated corn and i was like i'll take it oh that sounds so good because um i haven't, I haven't had corn in so long and you know i you know i, I get it home and Pop, heat it up, and just a can of corn, chew it up, and, you know, it was past the sell-by date or whatever it is. It wasn't bad. It was still fine, you know, and, uh, you know, that was my meal for the day. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, fun stuff.
So yeah, I wonder what kind of food buff that would give me, huh? Just just pure corn, right? Now all, all the all the foods in like Albion and stuff are um they're they're like you know a mixture of items. It's not like you ate a Brussels sprout plus ten to damage. You know, it's like you ate a Brussels sprout salad with roasted roasted Brussels sprouts with I don't fucking know. <laughs> I just eat Brussels sprouts plain, dude. I don't have, like, recipes for Brussels sprouts. I bet there are people in my comment section that hate Brussels sprouts. Bro, I'm going to tell you how to make some good Brussels sprouts, all right? And you listen to me good, okay? Go go to the store if you can and buy fresh Brussels sprouts. You don't have to buy them from the stock. You can buy them in a bag as long as they're fresh, okay? Then take them home and wash them off. Wash the Brussels sprouts off. Now cut them in half, and there's like a little, little like, stemmy piece at the end. The part that connects to the stem, okay? Cut that off as well. Alright, it's like a white hard piece, you don't want to chew that, it's not really- It's edible, but it's not really good. So chop that off, okay? You should be left with a Brussels sprout that you chop the stem off of, and then cut it in half, okay? So you got- you got these little Brussels sprout halves, alright? Then, put them all on a tray, or put them all in a bowl. I like to put them in a bowl, okay? Put them all in a bowl. And get some uh, some olive oil, just like some extra virgin olive oil, olive oil. If you don't have olive oil, just vegetable oil, canola oil, peanut oil, uh, you know, just any kind of oil, okay? And and don't, don't soak them, just lightly coat the damn things. Just lightly coat the Brussels sprouts in oil. And then turn on an oven, 400 degrees Fahrenheit, I don't know what it is in Celsius, just turn on high. Like, not all the way high. Like, I think the ovens where I'm from go up to 500 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, so 400, just put it on 400, let it preheat for like 30 to 40 minutes, whatever. And um, put those suckers in there for like, I think, 10 to 30 minutes. I forget. I, I constantly check my food, okay? So put them in, in there until they start getting a nice golden brown crispy crust on the outer layer. They'll look a little burnt, okay? You want to lightly burn them, okay? Don't turn them black. Just until they're like a golden dark brown with a little bit of black on them, okay? Take those fuckers out and then let them, you know, let them cool down a bit, but not too much. And then eat those and tell me if you, tell me that you still hate Brussels sprouts after that. You won't. There is no way that you will hate Brussels sprouts after that. There's just no way. They're, they're too good. They are insane. Like, you put some salt on them, okay? And, mmm, they are splendid. They're, oh, okay, here's the statue mob. Excuse me, can I target you, please? I'm gonna kill that uh, little animal there. And let's start black. I didn't do a W armor shred, but he's still gonna die. Okay, he didn't die! Aw, oh, man, he got left a little bit of HP. They're only dropping one cake now, what's up with that? Alright, so that's uh, that's like 30 minutes of fame farming, guys. Uh, with this build, how'd we do? We're at 81.493. Uh, combat fame credits. We're at 13.6 million silver. We uh, we got a bunch of cakes. Uh, you learned how to cook some nice roasted Brussels sprouts. Now let me tell you, if you can't get Brussels sprouts are too expensive or you really, really, really hate them, then do the same thing with broccoli. Okay, get some fr not frozen. Do not do not use frozen broccoli. Use fresh, fresh broccoli. Same damn thing. Coat them with oil. Pop them in the oven. Uh, you can also add things like chickpeas if you want to. You know. Some sort of protein source, okay? There's uh, so many things, like onions. I, here's what I like to do. I, I like it. Chickpeas, onions, Brussels sprouts. Uh, I'll do it with broccoli, maybe some carrots. Just whatever vegetables are lying around. Usually onions and carrots because they're super cheap. And um, not lately, though. Of course not. Not lately at all. Uh, yeah, and then just roast them. Roast them with some little dash of oil, you know, and... It's good. It's good eating. It's, it's nice. It's tasty. It's, it's healthy-ish. Yes, I know oiled food, baked, whatever. It, not, not, there's always health. There's always healthier alternatives. You know, everyone's gonna be like, well, it's not healthy. It, it's healthy enough. It's better than eating damn McDonald's or something, okay? And even that's arguable. Alright. <laughs> uh, let's get the heck out of here. Uh, my at 18.5. Yeah, there we go. Okay, cool. And shoot her down. Should we do 30? We can do 30 more minutes of fame farm. I don't know. Uh, I think I've I think I've held you guys up long enough, you know. You know, you were just walking along, minding your own business on YouTube, and then you saw this video, and you're like, hmm, that looks cool. 
I like build. I want to learn more builds. <laughs> and uh, and then you clicked on it, and here we are. I'm sitting here talking to you about roasting broccoli, okay? This is not a roasted broccoli guide. This is this is a fame farming build guide for Albion Online with the bolt casters, okay? It's an alternative build guide. It's uh, it's pretty darn good. Make sure you get that IP to 1855 so you can two shot the big boys. All right. With that said, I'm Swole Benji. Thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out with me today. And uh, uh oh, I'm not gonna be able to finish that. Oh no, but he's still dead. He's still dead. It's just it's just a little dirty. It's still good. <laughs> Uh, make sure you're subscribed because I make videos every single day unless I have health issues or I just completely run out of ideas. Guys, I am out of ideas. I have no ideas. I sit here for hours trying to figure out what can I make about Albion Online that I haven't already made. And I just sat there and sit here, lay here, whatever, you know, doing nothing all day trying to think of Albion Online video ideas. That's my life now. I wake up, I think of Albion Online video ideas, and if I get one, I make it like I am right now. And then I eat my can of corn and go to bed. And that's it. That's all I'm doing. It sucks. <laughs> it's awful. It's, it's not a way to live. So help me out. Give me video ideas that I haven't already made. Because I've got like 277 videos on this channel now. Right? I need I need more video ideas, damn it. Give them to me now. Let's blast this guy. Yeehaw! Sorry for the dead air for a sec there. I wanted to make sure I focused up. All right, got him. We got him, and now we're at 81669. You can see it's so many. It's just so, uh, get that hell one out of here. We don't want that. So if you have video ideas, let me know in the comments. Now, I, I'm telling you right now, I read every single comment. I know that sounds wild and crazy, but I do. I may not respond to every comment, because that, YouTube doesn't really like that. I also don't, I, I don't respond to comments of questions where people ask a question that I've already answered in a video. All right, uh, go to my channel page, click search, type in whatever it is that you have a question about, and you can probably find an answer for it. That's how I've designed uh, my videos, so you can easily find the answers to many of Albion's questions, damn it. Ugh. So, with that said, videos every day. Make sure you click that subscribe button right now. We're, you know, we need to hit 100k here. We want to be the first Albion Online YouTuber that's dedicated to Albion Online to hit 100k, right? Even though I've made New World videos, that, that game died. And Lost Ark videos, and that game got botted to hell. And World of Warcraft videos, and that company died and got bought out by Microsoft. Oh, jeez. But, guys, hit that sub button. Don't miss tomorrow's video. You, you don't want to miss it. Now, let me, let, me, let me shill some other stuff for you, okay? If you're one of those fancy rich persons, you know, rich dudes that um, have lots of money, uh, you, you could financially support me by clicking the thanks button down below. And what that'll do is let you leave a monetary donation. And the reason I didn't two-shot her is I don't have my beef stew anymore, okay? That's why I'm not two-shotting her anymore. That's why I tell you get your beef stew. I want to make sure that I at least tag that guy. Alright, yeah, you get your beef stew so you can two-shot him. Anyway, if you want to leave a monetary donation, alright, click the thanks button down below. It's a one-time monetary donation. And it will um, show how much money you donated in the comments. Uh, there was a guy, uh, man, I'm sorry I forget names, but he uh, he left a $5 donation. He asked me to do a video about spears, and I wasn't going to do a video about spears, because let me tell you right now, those videos, uh, those videos where I compared DPS and damage, I, some people, I know a lot of you guys respect them. You guys really, really enjoy them. There is an enemy nearby, and he's got low mana. We're going to try to kill him. Maybe we can. Eternal enemy. Oh, he's fighting a statue. Oh, yeah, I, I, yeah, let's go, bro. No, he's running away. No, you will not escape. I will armor shred you. I don't know why my accent changed. I'm sorry, I got excited. Okay, I'm going to dismount this dude. Oh, yes. Oh, look at him. He's running. Oh, he, the thing is, I can mount up and chase this guy now. Okay, we can't end the video yet. We got to keep going. <laughs> we got some PvP in this boy. Now, his mount's dead, and it's going to be dead for like 20 more seconds. So we got time to run up on him, but he can fight me whenever I did. Oh, he ran inside the freaking base. Well, either way, I'm stealing a statue. He had a nice bow. He could have fought me. He could He could have totally fought me. So we're going to kill this statue super quick before he regenerates his health and gets the hell back out here. Because you know he's coming back. He wants this damn statue. 
but it's my statue. This is mine. This is why we wear the 8-3 in the yellow zone. I know people don't understand that, but this is why we do it. And, yep, his statue's dead. He's like, oh, fuck. Oh, darn. Oh, dang, man. Man, why'd you do that? You stole my statue, man. It's like, well, that's what you get for being Limhurst. You're kind of far away from home, too. Oh, yeah, a little, a little, little chest. If he's going to follow me, I will dis I will shoot him again. I will absolutely blast him again. He's baiting me, though. Look, he's being a little cocky over here. He's being a little cocky guy. All right. Ooh, statue just spawned right in front of me. Look at that. Look at that statue look, okay? Look at that. It's insane. And I didn't time my E fast enough, so I didn't get the full brunt of it. But it's whatever. So we're just gonna spam Q's into this dude. Oh, yes. Down he goes. That's another statue. Down. Alright. The other shield that I gotta do. I gotta do it or I die. I have to do this. Okay. Channel memberships. That's a thing on YouTube. It's five bucks a month. You know how people on Twitch have like little subscribe buttons. You can pay five bucks and be a Twitch subscriber. You don't really get anything for that though. You don't get nothing for being a Twitch subscriber. But on YouTube, you actually get something. You get access to private and personal videos. That's right. You get access to videos that I don't show to the public that I only show to people. And there's at 5K. We did the 5K. It took what, 40 minutes? That's, uh, that's kind of slow for me, but guys. You can become a channel member, and you can get you can watch those private videos that other people can't have access to. And at some point, I'm like, like I'm gonna have my old videos on there that where I used to use a webcam and stuff. So if that interests you, I guess. Um, or, or here, here's one that you could actually find useful. Okay, it's how to be a YouTuber. I, I made a 40 minute long video. It goes over what recording software I use, the settings I use the editing program I use, and how I use it, and the settings I use in that program. I also go over how to make quick thumbnails due to the tag, title, and description of a YouTube video so that it actually shows up in search and gets views. Do you know all those YouTube channels? Maybe you have a friend that has a YouTube channel, and, and he gets like 10 views, like a video, and, and you're like, well, what the hell? Why does Soul Benji get 1,000 plus views in his videos, but I only get 10? It's not because of subscribers, okay? I'm gonna tell you right now. Subscribers don't mean anything on YouTube anymore. Like, I have a metric that shows how many subscribers watch my videos. It's like 500. 500 of my views come from subscribers. <laughs> it's pretty pathetic, isn't it? Um, of course, uh, you know, it wasn't always the case, but it's whatever. You know, a lot of my subscribers already know a lot of the info I'm shilling out there. But the point is, is that I made this video in case someone wipes my memory with magic. Whoa, whoa, boss character. Oh, yes. Axe Maiden. Let's go. Look how fast I'm killing her. She's, like, already dead. Oh, look at this. 214k. I should have ate a cake for that. Mmm. Oh, yeah. Mmm, that's... <laughs> I took 300,000 of my silver away for that. Bye-bye, <laughs> 300,000 silver. Oh, it feels so good, though. Oh, oh, look at 82k. 82.5k. Mmm, yes. Oh, yeah. See, I got excited there, you know? It's a good excited. It's not like, a, oh, shit, I'm about to get ganked in the black zone and lose all my stuff excited. No, it's a, <laughs> it's a, it's a happy excite. Anyway, so I made that video so that I can learn how to be a YouTuber in case someone hits me on the back of the head and I just forget who I am and how I do things, okay? Like, if I woke up 20 years from now, which I, I, I wonder if YouTube will be relevant in 20 years, you know? <laughs> Uh, we'll be a we'll be like a barren wasteland and and you know like a, a post apocalyptic survival thing and Mr Beast will be like a an, a warlord of sorts <laughs> where he makes people do death challenges in order to um to live at his camp or something I don't know okay I'm just going off the rails here you know it's what this is what Albion Online does it makes you lose your sanity okay so if you if you want to become a channel member man if you if you want to and you got five bucks. It's five bucks a month. Okay, you get access to the videos for the whole month. All right. And, uh, yeah, there you go. You can watch the video. Uh, learn how to be a YouTuber. And then and then if you want to collab with me once you become that YouTuber, oh, that would be so cool. Um, also, I, one other thing that I don't normally say at the end of my videos, too, um, is I want to start a gaming group. Um, I'm not sure how to do this exactly. But I want to start a gaming group for low-income gamers. And what, I, what, do I, what is a low-income gamer, okay? I, I want to start a group of pe like a gamers for all of us to get together and play Albion Online or any other game, for the matter. Um, for, for people that make, like, under $35,000 a year. 
people that make like thirty to thirty-five thousand dollars a year or less, or people that don't have jobs at all. You know, like if you don't work, if you're a neat, a neat life, you're a hick a mori. You know, you're just a jobless dude. Oh, we're stealing that. We're stealing that. We're stealing that. Yes, yes, yes. Give it to me now. Yes, it's mine. You can't have it. Oh yes. He just he just mounted up and left. He already knew what was happening. Oh man. Oh. This build is so good. Mwah, chef's kiss. So yeah, I, I want to start like a low income gaming group. Now I've I've tried to advertise this on like 4chan and 4chan is just bots. I, I'm definitely not even gonna bother with Reddit. I don't even have a Reddit account. Okay, they always get banned. <laughs> I can't help myself. I just make people upset all the time, forever. But low income gaming and the reason why here like okay I'm, I'm not like discriminating against the rich okay or anything like that okay i don't have a way to prove how much money you make per year you could just like you could be like some tech giant ceo and you can be like yeah man i, I only make you know 20k a year or i don't have a job at all lol xd and uh I, I, how am i supposed to know i have no freaking clue i i just have to trust you okay i just have to trust you okay but the point is that, you know, I kind of want to get a group together of low-income gamers, and, and you may be asking why. Why aren't rich people allowed in this gamer group? And, well, here, here's the thing, right? I've joined, like, all these different guilds throughout my entire life, and I, I'm a low-down brother. I come from the ghetto. I, you know, poor, poor upbringing, poor family, lived in motels, apartments, trailer parks, okay? Like, I, it's just... I don't have the capacity for higher education. I don't have uh, an, a way to get a good job. And uh, the only jobs I can really work in real life are retail and fast food. Luckily, I found a niche here on YouTube that um, it doesn't quite pay the bills. It barely keeps me alive, actually. But the point is, is that uh, I, I get along better with people that also come from a similar background of sorts, okay? What that means is that people that uh, also grew up poor in crappy ghettos, you know, where, you know, you just went to the worst of schools and had a crappy, lived in a cra crappy neighborhood, whatever. Whereas all these guilds that I joined, all these, like, discords that I joined full of people, they're all, they, ha they all work these little cushy tech jobs. Have you seen, there's like a TikTok that's, that went viral, and it's like, uh, it's like a girl, she's 22 in Chicago for LinkedIn, and she's like, here's my average day of a 22-year-old in LinkedIn, and she arrives to work, there's eucalyptus towels for her face or something, she gets to eat, like, chia seed yogurt for breakfast supplied by the company, her company has a quiet room and a, and a ping pong court, and, like, she does almost no actual physical labor or work at all in the whole damn thing, and it's just... It's insulting, okay? And every Discord I join, every guild I join, every gamer group, gaming website, gaming forum, gaming space, on all of the entirety of the internet is filled with these people. And they don't live like like me, like us, like us low-down brothers who live in the ghetto, we live in the favelas, we live in the in the trailer parks, we live in the in the shanty towns, okay? You know, surrounded by crime and drug dealers and corrupt everything, okay? And it's getting it's getting to the point where it's like, when I try to like you know mesh with with the normies, it doesn't work. It, it's 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 maddening. I'm I'm starting to like lose my sanity in real life over this stuff. Okay, and I, it's like, well, just play the game. But no, the thing is, these office wages they treat me like a coworker instead of a friend. I'm sick of being in guilds where people treat me like a coworker, like I'm just a cog in a wheel. Just a, a machine for, for, for to further their virtual greed, and I'm not I'm, I'm not going to have it anymore. So that's why I want to start a low-income gamer group, and uh, I don't really know how to do that. Um, so let me know in the comments, I guess, if you made it this far in the video. Uh, thank you so much. Most people don't, uh, which means that you really do care, and you're... I don't know, because I've already, I've already given you the guide. I've already given you the gameplay, the earnings. So you're just here for me at this point. Let's be real. Maybe you just let the video run again. I'm talking to an empty room. Like, you went to go to the fridge and you're getting some food or something and to, to binge watch your next YouTube video. Maybe something funnier, more entertaining than me. But the point is, is that uh, you made it this far. You know, empty room or person who has nothing else to watch or people, the person that really enjoys my content. I, I don't know. I have no idea, okay? Most people treat my videos like a podcast because there's not a lot going on on the screen right now. I'm just riding around capping AI scripted mobs. You may be wondering, like, what, what kind of content would we do 
as a low-income gamer group, okay? And, and th that... Uh, why is he throwing a rock at that dude? Well, I'm not gonna complain. And, and the answer to that is, we're gonna have fun in video games. We're not gonna chase win-loss ratios. We're not gonna chase kill-death ratios. We're not gonna chase gear score, or virtual greed, or killing some stupid raid boss in a game. No, we're gonna, we're gonna create memories. We're gonna create everlasting, it, hopefully, maybe eternal memories in games that people will remember and rewatch time and time again. You know what, I, I spent, I spent 40 minutes the other day watching a single YouTube video that's three minutes long. You, you wanna know what the YouTube video was? Uh, it is, um, it is a video of a child in Gmod. And he gets pinned against a wall by two guys. And they put these walls over him. And so he's stuck on a wall, right? Now everyone knows that plays Gmod. You can just type slash kill in the console and respawn. Or, you know, just no clip out of it. But he's a kid. He doesn't know. And he starts screaming over the microphone, DELETE THIS! DELETE THIS! And you can hear him, like, banging on his desk and his keyboard. Um, and the, the two guys that just pinned him there... Well, I think it's just one guy that speaks, and he just, all he says, all he replies with, he's just like, Hello? And the kid is like, DELETE THIS NOW! And then the guy's like, Hello? And it's just such a, it's such a funny, memorable video. Like, when I we used to work retail, like, me and my coworkers, we would just say this to each other for hours on end. Like, someone would, like, come up to us and complain about something, and we'd be like, Hello? It's, it's stupid. I know it's really stupid. Ooh, is this guy doing a No, he's not doing a transport. He is mighty killable, though. What a killable guy. Anyway, <laughs> we already, we already down. Didn't, didn't we down a guy? I don't remember. Still a statue. That's right. Anyway, so I want to create everlasting, memorable gamer moments like that. Yes, I know, I just burped or something without muting my mic. I'm sorry, okay? It's it's hard to talk for freaking 51 minutes without a without a mess up, okay? And I'm not gonna edit it out. You just have to deal with it. You made it this far, you shouldn't care. <laughs> but yes, um you, you know, I just I just wanna play with people like me. I'm sick of feeling like I'm on a lower cast. I'm sick of feeling like like I, I don't deserve to play with all these other office wages that they have such good lives, and like they can, they, they they don't see the world the way I do, and I don't see the world they do either. It's 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 messed up, okay? They always talk about how they're door dashing all these extravagant meals and driving their new cars, and when they complain about their job, they complain about having to answer like one phone call and tech support, and how it took like five minutes to fix. Whereas like I could complain about my retail job where no one showed up for work and it's just me, the manager, having to run the check lanes, the service desk, the, the cash office, the kiosk repair, the cart getting, the janitorial duties, and 10 other million other things that I also have to do as a manager all at once, all at the same time while being on a fucking conference call. Like you, you, get, you see the stress level difference? You see, you, do you understand what it's like to – a lot of these office wages, they've never, worked re, they've never worked crappy jobs, and if they did, they did knowing that they had this stupid – safety net that their their rich parents or that their their college scholarship or their their trust fund or whatever the hell it is their fancy household where they have you know entire families willing to help them pursue whatever it is they want in life okay us low down brothers we don't get that okay we're surrounded by crime and drugs and and degeneracy and schools that don't care about us and schools that treat us like criminals and and it's, it's awful, okay? It's just terrible. And is, uh, th that is not stealable, but is he dead? Is Trap God about to die? Probably not. Let's see, though. Oh, 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 uh, yeah, he, he got him. Okay. Well, that's fine. But anyway, you, you get the point. You get the point. It's, it's nutty. It's crazy. I'm sick of feeling this way, and I don't know where to go or who to ask or who to talk to to fix this. I, it's really, really getting to me. I, that's why I'm dedicated half this, half this video to it, <laughs> to this topic. Uh, so anyway, um, if if you want, uh, I mean, there's a Discord link you could join, but no one ever really uses it. Um, it's like three people right now that talk in it. Um, they're, I don't know, they just kind of do their own thing. Uh, speaking of, now, a, a lot of people have also been asked, I, I guess this is just a longer video, I tried to end it a while ago, I'm sorry, for those that want shorter form content, whatever. 
a lot of people ask, what about the chat alliance? You know, you, 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 if I if I like look at my guild, I am a guild master of this, and they are in the alliance of the Chad Gamers. Chad Gamers has 2,046 members. Here's all the guilds and all the members. Like, give me some sex. 213 members. Single 18 female. <laughs> 242. Yes, these are cringy names on purpose. Like, let me sniff that belly. 240 members, okay? Well, let me, let me show you why this didn't work. Okay, I made this a while back. I got 2,000 people. No one played with me. No one talked to me. No one hung out with me. And look where it's at now. Okay, we go to the rankings. We go to the fame rankings. Let's look at it last week. Okay, look at my guild. This is. I am in a solo guild. I am. Look at. Look at me. <laughs> I am a guild completely by myself. It's just me. And if I go to the rankings and fame rankings for last week and go to guilds, there I am. 4,835. Okay, 6.7 million fame last week. Now, let's go to the alliances, okay? We go to alliance, and it's not working. What I wanted to say was, out of 2,000 members, I made, I made over half of the fame for the whole alliance. So, 2,000 members, I did 6.7 million. The entire other 2,000 members barely did 6 million. Barely. Is he skinning out there? He is. I don't think I can get him, though. Uh, there is, like, no way I'm going to be able to catch that, dude. If we change boots, we'll try. But the point is, is that it didn't work. No one joined the Discord. No one talked to me. There, there's so many like things that just didn't work. Let's see if I can. He's gonna skin those 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 birds. I guarantee it. Yes. I'm gonna go off screen. I don't want to power up. Yep. He's dismounted. Let's go. He's gonna remount. Watch. There he goes. I'm gonna try to get my F. Yes. Here we go. Oh, you invisible. You invisibled. Uh, well, it was it was a fun try. <laughs> uh, that used his boot ability, by the way. He can't run now. If I <laughs> Baldi's here, <laughs> Baldi's basics. <laughs> uh, I should play that one day on stream huh? or on YouTube, huh? What do you guys think? But yeah, I, that's all I've got, man. This video is almost an hour long. No edits, no cuts. I'm sorry to keep you waiting so long, but. Switch those back, and I'm tell I'm teleporting home. We got 83.3 million fame credits, guys, and I'm down to 11 million silver. Oh, it hurts! It hurts so much. Yeah, I already did the outro like 20 minutes ago. You know what the outro is. If you're new here, I'm sorry you spent all this time watching my video. Make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss tomorrow's video. Mwah! Thank you so much.